This episode of Approach the Bar is sponsored by DSI TV, exclusive broadcasters of the United Kingdom Open Dance Sport Championships. Welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. Today is a very special episode because we are going to discuss the World Professional Smooth Championship that was held at the recent Embassy Ball in Irvine, California. And I feel very fortunate to have a former World Professional Smooth Champion who is going to give us his in-depth analysis of what he actually thought. Mr. Jonathan Roberts, how the hell are you? Hi Chris, I'm great. Into fifth place, we had Yegor and Alexandra. They actually finished 5-5, five, five, fourth in Foxtrot, and then back to fifth in Viennese Waltz. So, Jonathan, what do you think? Uh, Yegor and Sasha. So, um, long, tall, thin couple. Really match each other, I think, physically, as far as the flexibility of the bodies. Um, what Sasha can do just with her uh, head rolls and movement there. I love their sweeping movements. Um, I love the Latin influence in Jaeger's body. You see the tone and control um, and the movement, but it's not too Latin, which I want to talk about mm -hmm. later. You still see nice ballroom swing and movement, but then he has the speed and dynamics as it goes through. Um, to me, they have some of the most uh, interesting, I don't know, patterns or choreography as they move through the floor. I quite like uh, the dynamic change they do. Um, and like I said, the body tone. Um, for last night, um, Sasha's dress was not my favorite. And normally I really like her hair down, but somehow it seemed a little bit too wild as it went through. Um, I felt in the final, um, it almost looked like they ran out of room on the floor sometimes and then weren't able to dance the patterns full out as it went through there. Not that it was crowded, but um, just maybe with dodging couples, yeah. they didn't have enough room to maneuver. So obviously this couple, when they first came out, blew almost blew everybody away. And now they're in a sort of holding pattern. What would your advice be for them to start to start to blow people away again? Um, I think like at, at first uh, with I think Sasha being a little newer to the style, um, I think she's she's grown so much as a dancer since then. I think when they first came out, they just nobody knew what to expect. They had a completely different look and impact and just went and um, was fantastic. Um, I think now they've kind of, it's funny, sometimes when you improve your connection and your balance, you actually lose the effect. And I think it, like, you see the video from their first comp and there's places where they miss connections, they fall over, but the impact was so much stronger. And now I think they're so much better connected, footwork is clear, you know, choreography goes well, yet maybe it's lost some of that dynamic, just we don't care, we almost don't know what we're doing, and we just go dance. And that's, I think, every couple has a tough balance between that of, of having not enough control and, and balance, um, but still keeping the dynamic and the impact and that spontaneity of the moment. Got you. All right. Still fifth in a world championship. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see who finished fourth. Okay, guys, don't go too far away because Jonathan and I are going to be back with more analysis of the World Professional Smooth Championships. This episode of Approach the Bar is sponsored by DSI TV, exclusive broadcasters of the United Kingdom Open Dance Sport Championships.